guys, this is a basic tutorial to show you how to edit the After Effects intro template files. The editing steps are mostly similar to all the templates, except some which requires plugins like Element 3D and Saber. Only the composition names can be different in some templates but the steps are similar. So this tutorial steps will you guys help to edit most of the intro templates in my channel. I am using template number 190 as an example. First of all, extract your template file using WinRAR 7-zip. Just double click to open the template file in After Effects, provided you have already installed the After Effects in your computer. Ignore the missing file error which is actually the dummy logo file used. Now to insert your logo, go to this composition your logo, the name could be different in the template you are editing, but it is usually similar such as edit logo, place your logo here or logo. Open this composition and delete any missing file. You can add your logo simply by dragging inside the After Effects. Place your logo inside this composition and adjust the size. Some templates have tagline or extra text included. Go to tagline composition to change it. Now in case if you do not have a logo, you can also use text instead of a logo. Just create a text layer with text tool inside the logo composition. Some template have extra customization options which you can edit in the controls layer. The control layer name can be different in each template such as main controls, controls or color controls. Just select the controls layer and the options will be shown in effects control tab. As you can see, making any changes to the colors in the control changes the intro color as well. Play around with these settings to match your preference. Lastly you have to render the template to get the final video output file. To do this, first make sure you are in the main composition which is named in this template as Glitch Reveal. This main composition name differs in different templates such as Main Comp, Render, Render Me or the template name. Remember you have to render only this main composition to get the final video output file. Once again make sure you are in the main composition tab and then go to composition add to render queue. In the rendering tab, you can change the file saving location and the output format and size that you wish. Once you done editing the render settings, just press render to start the rendering process. When the rendering is done, the template file will be saved in the location you chose. Thank you.